Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to um, set up uh, the car controller with for example one of the uh, Sinti packs. So I'm picking um, Polygon Street Racer because well it's kind of perfect for that. Um, so let's start off um, with the basics, so um, let's go here, let's go prefabs and we'll drag in uh, the car. So as you can see it's going to be dropped here, so let's move it a tiny bit. And yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, then next up, um, we need to have uh, a um, well, we need to have a model. So um, going to go to um, Polygon Street Racer vehicles and presets, um, and then pick the car you want. Um, I like this one; it's actually really nice. And there we go. So let's unpack both of them. Um, so uh, unpack going to drag this uh, in here I'm going to drag it on the top um, and then here we can literally remove uh, everything uh, until like audio source break just remove it um, then um, we're going to uh, create uh, an empty here no actually let's not Let's do it a different way. So um, we're going to select all of the wheels, we're going to uh, create an empty for them. And let's call these uh, joints. Let's duplicate these. Um, and let's call these uh, colliders. Then we give them both a uh, empty parent. And uh, we'll call that uh, wheels, perfect. And um, we'll drag that um, just before, well, just here. It doesn't really matter all that much. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's make sure, by the way, uh, same for the wheels, actually. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all. Um, let's make sure first that it's uh, um, aligned with the rest of the car. There we go. So we have the wheels. Um, now I'll take that out. So uh, on the joints, let's make sure we remove these sphere colliders because they'll, uh, they'll conflict. Um, and on the colliders, which basically are just copies, um, we're going to uh, remove everything. Um, it's all about the positioning, just makes it slightly easier. We didn't even have to do that. And then we do a wheel collider. Um, cool, we'll make the wheels a bit smaller. And um, let's put them up a bit. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Um, when it comes to the settings of the wheel colliders, we can adjust all of that on the car component itself. Then, um, when having a look at the car components, um, we need to adjust, um, Let's, uh, we can actually turn this off for now. We don't need that. Um, here on the front bumper and the rear bumper, we need to turn off the colliders because otherwise they'll conflict. Um, and here we uh, turn off uh, the colliders as well. Easy enough. And on, on the car, um, we want the box collider to fit better. Um, There we go. Make it a bit taller as well. It's a big car. There we go. Awesome. Could be better, but it's okay. Um, that's it. We don't need to do the rigid body. That's all driven by um, this component. I'm just going to leave all of the default settings here. Uh, I'm fine with that. Then um, what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to drag in the steering wheel here so it will rotate along. Um, which is what we'd want. And then in the wheel system, um, we'll need to drag in um, these wheels. So let's start off um, with the joints. Oh, sorry about that. So let's start off with the joints. So uh, the naming conventions are pretty much always the same for whatever car model you'll find. I've never really seen it differently. Um, they'll always have, you know, like front left, front right uh, in the name. Um, 
before. Honestly, I've tried several. I've, I've never seen it being done any different, but uh, in case it is, you know, it stands for front left, front right, you know, uh, rear left, rear right. That's it. Cool. Uh, definitely play around with the settings. Um, it is quite important. It's a physics based, um, you know, physics based system. So uh, the positioning of the wheels, the size of the box, the mass of the car, they all impact how you're going to be driving. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, I'm not going to tweak too much here. I'll just leave the default. Um, but it's definitely something you, uh, you know, you want to look into if you want to optimize how the car drives. Sweet. Um, that's it for the car. Then let's add our game creator um, camera shots. Perfect. Um, there's definitely some uh, some things we need to change here. Um, I'll try to work on my own uh, camera shot just to avoid um, these additional steps, basically. Um, and maybe I'm just doing it wrong, um, but at least this works. So we have a orbit target in here, um, which we can use and um, vector three. And what I'm doing here in terms of settings, it's that's the same as in the um, in the demo scene. Um, it works, of course, fine tune to whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it works. Um, don't want the zoom button. Then here, game objects, um, we're gonna do the car itself. And obviously the whole point of having uh, variables in everything as well, uh, same for the script, um, is that you can just store the active car if you're going to have multiple um, in a uh, global variable, local variable, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, we can leave the rest, that's fine. Going to reduce the pitch a bit, um, because I, a bit because I think that's too much. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'll, uh, I'll leave it like that. Cool. Um, and then last but not least um, is we need the triggers. So this is one of the biggest changes compared to um, the current version of um, Game Creator uh, One Car Controller is that I've already separated, um, you know, acceleration and reversing to be uh, actions. And the reason for this is quite simply um, that you can support gamepads, um, you know, keyboard, both, um, you know, mobile input, touch, whatever. Um, that's kind of the idea to give you a bit more freedom. Um, trigger to do inputs. There we go. I'm going to do W, um, like Halo style. Don't have to do that. You can <laughs> do whatever you want, of course. Um, and then we're going to do uh, accelerate start. And then uh, here we're going to do uh, accelerate stop. Just drag in the car. And perfect. Then um, let's duplicate this, do a reverse. And we'll do S here. Awesome. And then we're going to add um, brake start reverse. Um, and brake reverse stop. There we go. Cool. Um, so yeah, that, that should pretty much be uh, it. Obviously I haven't set up any uh, damage or fuel um, related things. Um, have a look at the demo scene or the documentation, how you can do that. Just going to turn off a uh, fuel consumption. So um, we won't have any fuel uh, issues. Um, and yeah, let's set this to uh, zero as well. Cool. And let's hit play. So yeah, this needs to be enabled. And one last thing, um, let's look up the camera because I don't know where it is here. Main camera, there we go. Um, on here, um, we need to uh, turn these off as well um, because otherwise it's going to stutter a bit. Perfect. And then let's hit play.
Now this is a bit too close up, so um, <laughs> yeah, change that. Definitely would change that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up. Uh, pretty easy. Let's do. Uh, let's change the camera because this is way too close. Um, zoom. I'm not paying attention here. And there we go. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, that's how we can uh, set it up, have it working. Um, when it comes to, um, you know, colliders, bumps in the road, things like that, keep in mind my box uh, collider is set to be pretty close. Um, if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to change that, definitely, uh, you know, definitely change that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much everything you need to do to set up a different car. Um, if you're going for like Grand Theft Auto style, you want to set up multiple cars, um, you know, just store it in a variable and refer to variables. Um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. I'm absolutely terrible at this, but yeah, it's <laughs> that's okay. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to uh, to get started. Um, I think the Sinti packs are always a great example because you know. I mean, look at this scene. Uh, it's literally a racing track already set up, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.